Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ife Oluwa Oshukaye and Chika Umuyo. Hey guys. Kilo Shele. How you doing? What's up? What's up? You said the Kilo Shele by yourself. You answered the more wapa by yourself. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I feel, I feel good, you know. Uh, Everything feel, nice. Okay. We need to take this boots thing seriously. I, I, like, I, I, I really think so. We've talked about now. it and we've not carried it. But we need to sure. make somewhere just singing. behind. Mm. Maybe Wait, behind the passion yeah, no, no, is no, no. coming out let's, by let's, force. Let's, let's, let's even stop all of these boots things. All these artists, they need to stop paying me. Because I'm giving them free publicity. Do you know how many songs I, I don't that you sing, sing here? Right? But you don't mm. sing the recent songs that need publicity. Maybe you should... We strategize. Two seconds, everything number. You sang so, this song like one million times. Yeah, I think show. I think Whiskey uh, has to pay some homage. Forty nine ninety nine, Sandy no my no. What's that? I, can't even I get money. Oh, that's Tima song, right? Come on, no be for party, oh. How about that? I get, I get money for bank, no be property. Uh, mm. Is that the I get that money. Also? I get money before, no be property. Oh, it's not I get money for bank. If uh, ah, oh my me, man, because of me, I get money for bank. <laughs> I think bank things. Sorry. So, okay. so you own her before, ah, to uh, to the shop. Ah, wow. All right, moving on real quick to the stories <laughs> for now. Hollywood actress Sari G P Henson speaks on the kind of wedding she wants with her fiance Kelvin Hayden. She said, and I quote, no bridal party, I'm not a bridezilla. Please, I just want to say my vows in front of the people that I love, eat good food and have fun. Make it pretty fun. Make sure the DJ is good and a bomb DJ. And I think she's speaking for me, really. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, feel yeah. Like she's I think she's speaking for, speaking for every one of us. Uh, like, no, no, that's no, that's, no, that's, no, that's, no, that's you, everybody you, come you, 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 you can't afford oh, to I'm do big. that. Your mother and your father, they're going to bring... You know what you they call it? Oh, I'll say. I don't buy a Shebi. My first wedding, I'll buy a Shebi. I don't tie Gilly. On the first wedding, I'll tie Gilly. Before. Ha. Okay, so finally, finally. Finally, what? If I... It's the people I love. You guys are one of the people I love. Aww. So if I'm saying I'm going to get married in front of the people I love, definitely you lots are going to be We did not, we did not say we're not going to be there. We are crashing the weddings. Even if you say you're not going to be there. Do you understand? So um, I think um, this is just the typical thing. Mm -hmm. Because um, I can remember when we spoke about something like this recently about um, a couple that were getting married. Mm -hmm. And they said no reception. Yeah. In cabs. I remember. Mm -hmm. In cabs. Mm -hmm. No reception. They just got married in peace and they went to the house. Just come out witness the day ago. Yeah. Yeah. Just... So I think um, it's overrated at the end of the day because mm. um, I've always given an example of my brother who was in London. But because my dad was in America while they got married. And it's the first one. It's the first boy of the family. My dad did an absential wedding for him. They were not even there with this Skype call and then they were yeah. waving at the people. But you know what happens with that? Your dad must have probably gone to so many people's wedding. He and, cannot and afford to not have people just come has to his own to, son's wedding. You know, but at the end of the day, what we had was um, roll up banners and all of ah. that. The people... Is it an event? <laughs> he said roll up banners. We had roll up banners of the bride and the groom. Do you understand? And in my mind, no disrespect to you, that in my mind I'm like, what's this? But for? you were there. I, of course, I even was. I even was. Your friends. Be, ah, plenty of friends. So that's that. You said no disrespect to, no disrespect yeah. to you, dad. No disrespect to you, dad. But I'm wondering if maybe if we had saved this money, you know, I wouldn't have to send money at the end of this month, you know, dad. Uh, send money. How many years ago was this? Uh, my brother got married in 2008. You're right. I, I, oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I said, if your dad is to knock you <laughs> to the ground, <laughs> that knock. That is, that's why I said no disrespect to it. It's, 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 it's all we love from I, I really think side. it's overrated. Yeah. I do think it's overrated. And, um, I mean, I've seen a couple of weddings happen this year and last year, and it's not the regular plenty people. I mean, mm. I saw someone who got married and just invited 25 people. It was so beautiful. Like everybody kind of knew everybody, and yeah, then even if you don't know, it's, a, it's an opportunity to network. And the decoration was just so beautiful. Mm. The food was great because we are catering to twenty-five people, twenty-five people, food, including I mean. bride. Everybody was maybe thirty. It That's was just buffet. so beautiful, yeah. right? Can yeah. you do buffet for a thousand people? Ah, if you have the money, if you, you have the money, you can afford yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you can. But how many? How many people? I gave an example on the show. 
when I was living in a particular apartment um, in Lekki that um, I had to move out of because it was a three bedroom flat. And then after this guy got married, he put so much money into his wedding. And he brought the wife into the three bedroom flat? Hmm? Yeah, it was a three bedroom flat initially. But I said initially, to, wow, yeah. interesting. So he now brought his, um, when they got married and then all of that happened, the landlord increased his rent. Hmm. Wow. And this guy could not afford so to So he had to sublet. Yeah. He did not have to sublet. So what did he, he do? He went to a warm Wow. wow. From a three bedroom flat. Just because he spent so, so much money on, wedding, on his wedding. wedding. Yeah. Why would I even let my husband do that? No, but I, I'm, the I'm, I'm the type that wants, actually wants a sm small wedding. At me, for I me, want a massive best, honeymoon. Name, exactly. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather well, focus on I the have, marriage. I have, I have a friend wedding. that said that a proposal, yeah. a proposal, she worked on your faces. So, oh, no, she's not doing that work on your faces. But she works on your faces. I don't understand. She said that before anyone would propose to her, they had to take out the seashells, parry. Who works on my faces? I'm, uh, you, oh! you, get, you, you remember get the person now? No, no, it has come to ah, she's probably joking. She's probably joking. She, joke. Mm. Ah, um, oh, serious. <laughs> okay, we need to move on. Before you first start <laughs> spilling the secrets of everybody plus TV Africa, <laughs> BSC has described her seven year old daughter, Blue Ivy. Um, as a cultural icon, icon in a legal trademark battle um, with a wedding planner. She was blocked in an attempt to trademark her daughter's name by the wedding planner, Wendy Morales, who claims that she was using the name first. Okay, so um, I was trying to find out, um, because in my head, when it comes to trademark and mm -hmm. all that, it's, I think it, to an extent, has to do with who started using the name first. First, mm. yeah. Now, but I don't know if the, what's yeah. the word now? The... The capacity of the person involved also comes in play here, you know. And mm -hmm. from what she says, I like she goes, I like what you just said because mm -hmm. the capacity is what Beyonce is um, talking about. talking about actually um, capitalizing upon. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because she's like Blue Ivy has more followers than your old events planning page. Yeah. yeah. Blue Ivy is a cultural icon. Blue Ivy is the youngest person to be on the top 100 charts with mm. Brown Skin Girl because she featured in that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Blue Ivy is someone that has appeared on a lot of, um, what's it? Oh, look. Oh, that's my hairstyle. Jay-Z is having a... Okay, so back to the story. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so she said that Blue Ivy is someone that, look, you haven't even gotten to the stage of Blue Ivy. So it's not about who started it first, it's about who is doing it better. Mm. I have a problem but, with that. But, but you know that they, yeah, filed for, they filed for the application of trademark in 2016. Mm -hmm. And Wendy Morales um, filed for the opposition in 2017. So this is not something that just came up now. It's been a three no, no, year long No, I'm just giving battle. you a, 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 a timeline of what has been going on with Blue Ivy. It mm -hmm. doesn't mean that as at the time when this lawsuit was filed, mm -hmm. it was what was relevant. Mm. But we're looking at what is going on now, and mm -hmm. the case is still ongoing in 2019. Mm. Now, these are Beyonce's defenses, right? Mm. And um, if we want to really look into it without being biased, mm -hmm. right, I think we should still give it to the wedding planner. Of course. Because it is not by um, how large you are. How, how large you are yeah. at mm -hmm. the end of the day. It is about what is right by the law. Mm. And, but you, you know that they are not trying to trademark Blue Ivy. They are trying to trademark Blue Ivy Cutter. That's a difference. The, but but you, the, I, I the wedding like, plan is... So even wedding. if it goes through and they give it to um, um, Beyonce because you're saying it's Blue Ivy Cutter, I like mm. that this lady, Morales, is Came doing this. Because for. if she did not, you realize that... Even Beyonce's team or Blue Ivy's team, whoever the team is now, would go if after I, her if I to tell her to name stop now. using that name. Uh, that's a that's a possibility. Yeah, so I like that she's doing this. Yeah, I like that she's doing Regardless it. Regardless of what comes out. Um, but it's Blue Ivy Carter, and your if your your event planning uh, management whatever it's name, Blue Ivy. it's just Blue Ivy. I don't see. I don't see the problem because she's saying that um, the people will start, um, her customers or her clients will start mistaking both of them. No, that's, I but don't, I don't, I don't see. Imagine you go on the internet and you type in Blue Ivy, yeah? Mm. I can bet you that the first thing that will come out is Blue and Ivy. And regardless Kata. of the trademark, that's what you will still see. 
Yeah, regardless, regardless of the, the trademark. trademark. But I'm telling you that what will come up first? Is it Blue Ivy Qatar or Blue Ivy in general? The moment you type in Blue Ivy, it shows everything about Blue Ivy, whether Qatar, whether without the Qatar, whether. But she will always be there. So there's a possibility for people to mistake a particular brand for another brand. With or without understand? the trademark. With or without that's, the that's trademark. That's my own point. Because yesterday I checked for Blue Ivy event management. So we, I didn't see it in the, even in the third page. We, I was saw looking Blue Ivy Qatar, right? Every, I, uh, I, but I you didn't know, see you, it the location is Nigeria. Oh, so it's so, possible yeah, that it's I won't find it. So, but yeah. if you are in That's that area... Thing. Coming okay. from a, you know... <laughs> if you are in that area, town, then mm, it, of course space, it will probably come out the first. Yeah, but I mean, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> in, my, in my own head, I'm just saying, with or without the trademark... Mm. Blue so what do you think they should do? Change their business name? If she wants to at this point, but mm. if she has already gotten the um, CAC, if she has already done all of that, I don't know what it's called in America, but if she's done all of that and she feels business like... Business name registration. Yeah, business name registration, and she feels like that's not what that, that she wants to stick to that name mm. but if it's me personally i will change i will change my my business name because yeah. i don't but i don't know she's going right? to do that yes, i like I that will. she's i like that she's fighting for it and in my i don't know if this is going to happen but i'm hoping that they could but come you know to the, the table but you know the best part do you know the best because you know rebranding the best, is not funny take that rebranding do you know the best do you know the best part of this that at the end of the day while she's coming out She's probably gonna get paid that like, okay, you have a problem with the fact that I want to trade my blue ivy cutter, right? All right, we're going to give you five hundred thousand dollars. Please can you change your No, but I, I don't think they will That's do why. that. You it's don't a three year long case. If they were going to do that since twenty seventeen that she filed for an opposition, and they would have they've, 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 they've also not gotten the trade. Right? So, so it's, still it's, still it's still on. It's still on. It's still on. It's still on. So uh, but the way I it's looking, I think I think Beyonce's side will win it. That's what that's what I think. I mean well, I, I based hope, on um, I hope it doesn't what's it make called, us feel like the um, white precedence, justice, like mm. you say. Based on precedence, mm. based on everything that Blue Ivy Carter has done so far mm. in her short time in her career. Short time in her life. It's a career. <laughs> life! <laughs> in her life. Career now. She has done way more than the wedding planner. Anyway. You are still thinking about capacity and. Yeah. I'm thinking mm. about who started it first. But I don't know who started it first, though, really. That's who, what I'm saying, that who, who when they want to settle out of court, mm. it will be easier for you to give it to a Beyonce yeah. than the wedding plan. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's go for a very quick break. But when we return, we definitely have more stories to discuss. We'll be right back. <laughs> What we do not understand, we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The software equally confessed. A 500 era the collector. We will not talk, they will beat you. Now do the other five and they Welcome back. Um, Charlie Boy is asking why has God decided to punish Nigerians with Buhari? Okay. I Do I really say. want to talk about this? That, 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 that's, what, that's what I was even going to say. I, I don't think God punished Nigeria with Buhari. Like, I think we chose Buhari. Okay, please. Um, since you're saying this, I'd like to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Me? Ever since, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ever since Buhari came into power, mm -hmm. can you tell me one positive thing? That we have achieved from this government just one just one i'm not asking okay. for two so i'm going to be a very good girl mm. and a good journalist at the same time so mm. so far um there's been a ban on importation of rice right nice one. and we are still eating rice it's expensive yeah but i think it is uh, one of the um but wait in all, in let all, me all oh, okay sorry ah. I think it's no, I just need to ask you. I, I just need <laughs> to say something. <laughs> in all honesty. Wait, let me in finish. All honesty, let her, let I think it's one of the struggles mm -hmm. that we will have to go through, whether we do it now or later, to be able to be self sufficient. But at the moment, we are producing more rice, and I think mm. agriculture is. Mm. 
we probably, probably know where we are supposed to be compared to the capacity because I was watching an interview that should air very soon and um, the guest was saying that we are not supposed to be thinking of producing food for Nigeria. We're supposed to be thinking of producing food for Africa because mm. the, so. the capacity we have when it comes for agriculture is not supposed to be just for 200 million people. It should be way more, right? So yes, we are not where we want to be, but we are way better when it comes to that sector. Mm -hmm. I think that's one thing I can mention. Okay. So, you know, honesty. You say you have a bag of rice at home. Is that what I said? Uh, oh, you said the. Um, I don't have children or husband, so uh, I don't need a bag of so rice. So you don't need a bag of rice. No, I don't. But the rice you're eating right now is a Nigerian man. Yes, actually. It's um, it of father, mostly of father. Uh, because you're doing fit farm now. Let's talk about people that were eating normal. If I. Normal white rice. Talk rice. about Charlie Boy, because I don't know uh, why you want to eat that. No, 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 no. I'm not entering Bubu. Oh. I'm just going to go straight to the point and tell you that. Even right now, I also have a bag of rice, but it's still an imported rice. Mm -hmm. I do not have the Nigerian locally made rice mm -hmm. in my house. Mm -hmm. And I can, okay, I can tell you confidently, mm -hmm. but I can tell you that I bet a lot of Nigerians also still have imported because we're used to a certain product and that's what we're going for. Do you understand? Whether or not. Oh, but Nigerian produced rice are actually better now because the ones have, even the one, when yeah, I was less given the Ofada rice for the first time, I felt like, oh, I'm not going to go through this stress. Are you talking about Ofada really rice or brown no, rice? No, I'm talking yeah. about yeah, the rice. Yeah, that's the brown rice, rice that Nigerian yeah. yeah. produce. Uh, okay, 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 let's, I let's talk about what Charlie Boy is saying. So now, do you back think to what this is a punishment for now, God? No, no. We voted Wari in. We obviously voted Buhari in. You even can't, if it's not this you, this last election, you, 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 you can't even you say that. You know Buhari's nickname. What's the nickname? Buhari. Hmm? Buhari. You can't There's confidently say that. that is high. Oh, you can't confirm. Okay. Let's let's. Please, let's I'm um, going to ignore that. Okay. Mm. I'm personally. I'm going to ignore mm. that. I'm not going. <laughs> are you scared of DSS? Uh, uh, if you're not scared of DSS, I don't know who you are scared of. Mm. But I'm not scared of anybody. I'm only scared of. Please God. move back. Move back. Move, move back. I don't know you. <laughs> relax move, on your chair. Relax on your chair. Relax. <laughs> say that again. Please. I'm not us. scared of okay, DSS. The only person, person I'm scared of is God. Okay, good. And that's drink tea, drink okay, yeah, drink tea. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to say it's not a punishment from God. Mm -hmm. You make it look like God is um, sovereign, e even though He is, and ultimately in some way and say, make let's 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 punish that country. That country they've done so many bad things. That's so not that, exactly. That's mm -hmm. not how it is. We are. These are consequences of our choices. Yeah, yeah these are what our we deliberate have, choices. Very deliberate choices that we I have can't all remember. made as a country. Okay. My friends. They wanted the to kill me between the because rich of and the poor is everybody's decisions. Mm. Do you understand? That was young sex. Now, <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, the difference between all of us is our decisions. Mm. Now we decided to put Buari in, thinking it was the right person. But it was bringing I'm, change. Yeah. This time, nice new level. Next, next level. level. Mm. Now, um, I'm going to reckon with um, everything Charlie Boy has said because. Um, when he made reference before this post, I don't know if you got a chance to speak on, about it on this table, but he made reference to when um, OBJ was the president mm -hmm. for eight years. There was mm -hmm. nothing like Ududua Radio. Mm. Okay, okay, he was yeah, talking about the Fulani, Fulani Radio. radio. Mm -hmm. And then he also made reference to when um, GJ, good luck. There was nothing like Niger Ebele Delta Radio. Jonathan was the president. There was nothing like the Niger Delta Radio. And then suddenly we have the Fulani Radio. We have the full and the headsmen. We know everything that has been going on. We know about Boko Haram. We know that a lot of things have not been done. This insurgence is something that we can actually work and actually make a difference if we really want to. Now, so whether or not we want to see it, I won't call it a punishment. I'm just going to go back to young sex. It's everybody's decision. We decided that this is the person we want in power. And I'm not saying that even up to now, I'm still not convinced that anybody that ran for presidential seats in 2019 would have made a difference with searching for. Mm. Probably show sure, right? Okay, I'm just going to Probably. put one thing. I want, yeah. I'm just going to say okay. that. Mm -hmm. The um, the whole time that we, every time as a country, we're always blaming 
the figurehead, that's the president of the country. But I think it goes beyond whoever is sitting on the presidential seats. It's everybody the around people. him. Is the House of Assembly? Is the those Senate? Ones have the biggest, uh, those are the people that those actually. Are the biggest problem. Uh, those are the people that have control over the country. So sometimes when we go after the figurehead and say, "Let God punish or let God," it doesn't mean if they put somebody else there. You know, he, you know, it's just you know like a delegate. Why we can look at the figurehead because if the figurehead should make a decision and put his foot down, mm. all these other people, all these other bodies mm. do not have a choice. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Because 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 let's, no, apart from the judicial. There's a legislation, there's judiciary. Even before you pass a policy, you know, Apart from the judicial, that's what I'm saying. Okay, let me just use one counter to counter your points. If I just one counter to counter my points. Yeah, just one point to counter my Okay, President Muhammad Buhari gave an order that the Apapa gridlock, that all the trailers from there should move in two weeks. Till mm. this date, they're still there. No, but when it came to Lagos, did they move, yes or no? They did move, but, but they, 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 they put it back right put there. It from where you're coming from, then I Don't would say, say that. that it's a case of holding people accountable. I mean, if, for example, you employ someone as a head of security in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and you say, I'm employing you because I want the case of... Boko Haram, for example, to be gone in mm -hmm. three months. And in three months, there is no solution. Are you not supposed to fire? Yeah. Most yeah. people are accountable for the But I'm saying if, if, if the president that. himself has said, said he gave, this was, this was a very clear out order. Of office this, this is a very, time. that was okay, a so very clear order that this, this should happen. I think so. So I think we should just move on because I don't want, like you said, the fear of the DSS is the beginning of we don't. Okay, let's pick it up on Shadia Dusson, who hails um. His okay. mom. Ham. His, his <laughs> mom. His his pronoun. Okay, he's not, he's yeah, he's not. He's, he's always he's not Bob Whiskey anymore. He's always been his. He's confirmed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For three he years. From woman to man. Yeah. He just had a plus. The the new surgery. Was plaster. he born a man? A plastoplasty. Mm -hmm. Was he born a man? Was he no, born a man? no, okay. no. So anyway, he's really the mom for plastic. supporting, for understanding, for being there, and um, it's it's, it's what healing actually. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, I love that picture of them that um, Sophie is still lying. Um, I, I, like I always say on this table, I don't understand the LGBTQ community, mindset or yeah. community. That's why you need to go and watch the Chappelle's Sticks and Stones. Yeah, I watched it. I love them. Did you, did you enjoy it? Um, the beginning was a bit offensive, Drag. but at some point it became very interesting. Yeah. Oh. How was it offensive? Let's what not part? bring the Chappelle. Okay, what, what, okay. What, anyway, what, what, let's talk about Let's talk about, let's talk about, let's talk about let's Shadia let you know after the show. Okay, so I went through it because you know me, I don't usually have work when I, when I see these things. I went through his page up until like 2016, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I went through the stories. And he has always, want, he has always wanted to be a guy. Mm. Yeah, so three mm. years ago, 20 years. <laughs> I think October, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, I always wanted to, to be, be a guy. guy. Yes, mm. yeah. if I can remember correctly. I think 4th of October 2016, he said it's about to be a new time in his life. Mm. So he started taking hormonal, male hormonal drugs mm. to, you know, become start a man. to become. So he removed his bust. God, this sounds so wrong. Everything I'm saying, just the pronouns are wrong. But I'm, because I read yeah. 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 He removed his bust. His, Onion. Yeah, he removed these things. Mm. So he removed that. If I, he removed his boss so that he can, you know, start becoming a, girl, a guy mm -hmm. because he felt like, at that point as a girl, he felt like the person, he, the gender he was he's physically not he is. is not who his <laughs> inner <laughs> minded <laughs> self is. Mm. So he wanted to, and when he told his family, he told his mom, he told his dad, she, she at that point, it was a she that told his, and they agreed, okay, <laughs> we want to. <laughs> We want to we want to do this with you and but before he started before he started the process of taking hormonal <laughs> drugs so and stuff, he already said he was homosexual. So uh, he had a girlfriend. Uh, she, okay, she had a girlfriend at that point. I'm not so, so I'm so sorry. I'm messing up the pronouns. I'm so sorry. I'm messing up the pronouns. Who are we talking about? She, 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 before and after. This is before and after. I'm mm. I'm, I'm doing throwback mm. for you guys. Mm. So well, quickly, our time is I'm up. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, fast, fast. So that three years ago. He started wearing. She started wearing um, male clothes. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, stop making me laugh. Is she started she? wearing. She started wearing male clothes at that time. Mm. You know, but she was. She was still very much of a girl. But I think not until like two years ago, she started growing.
beard because really? yeah, because if you watch, if you look at her pictures now, she has Chica. she has a beard. Cut the long story okay, short. Yeah, what he has done the last part now. He has a penis, right? Yes. So yes. he's now a man. Yes. So everything is complete. Basically. So congratulations to Shadia this son. No, no, you cannot conclude. No, no, no. <laughs> no it's, 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 this is why we need the boots because where I'm about to sink. Sweetest taboo. Why are you singing Shadow Hadou's song? It's not his son. I'll be her son then. You see me as confused. Sweetest taboo. And that's how I wrap up. Okay. Like I said, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode or all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co anchors Chika Umwebu and Ifeolu Washoke, and of course the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin Singh. Thank you for watching and see you soon.